We are live from the quarantine, guys, and uh, we are in May, and it's crazy. I still can't believe that we are in May, but um, all things are pointing towards that. Uh, as I'm walking in this morning, it's, it's definitely getting lighter out as I'm walking in and it's definitely lighter out at night when I, when I leave here. So um, I believe, I believe in the rotation of the planet around the sun and that it is indeed May. Um, so uh, today for our workout, what you're gonna need is, uh, if you have some dumbbells, that would be fantastic. Uh, we're gonna be doing uh, Saturday, uh, I, I'm really loving these Tabatas on Saturday. Um, if you have a chair or a coffee table or something to do uh, tricep dips off of, um, that would be fantastic also. So, um, and then uh, story of the day. Well, the theme of the month, uh, we're gonna be talking a lot about breathing. We're gonna be talking a lot about uh, making sure that we get our, our daily water intake. And uh, um, we're also gonna be talking about success and what, what does success mean? So today's story is uh, about Socrates and um, one of Socrates' students, a young man, came to him one day and he said, tell me, Socrates, the secret to success. And uh, Socrates asked the young man to walk with him down to the river and, uh, and also get into the river with him. So they both walked down. They got up into the river up to about their necks and then Socrates surprised the young man by pushing him under the water and holding him there. And the young man struggled, Socrates was pretty strong, he kept him underneath the water until the young man turned blue and then he let the young man up. The first thing the young man did was gasp for air and Socrates asked the young man, what did you want the most when you were underwater? And the young man said, air. And Socrates said, when you want success as much as you want air, then you will have success. And that is the simple part of this secret. Um, that is all that there is to it. So um, uh, I'm glad that that style of learning was outlawed, I believe, in the late 1980s. Um, <laughs> could you imagine, Sarah, if it was like you wanted to have a like a 300-pound bench press and um, we, we dunked you in water <laughs> until you <laughs> found this, this reason for having success? Anyway, um, when we're talking about success, uh, we're, 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 we're talking about that 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 goal that we're that we're trying to hit right and um, some days like like say for instance like I just my my idea of success is just feeling good I just want to feel good every day and to get on that path I have to I have to work out and maybe some days I just I just have a hard time bringing myself to work out and so maybe I just do a workout snack you know we've been talking a lot about workout snacks lately which is maybe just doing the homework or just doing some mobility or just walking outside for 15 minutes. And it's still gonna get me on that path um, to success. I might not hit it as, as quickly as I, as I had originally thought, but don't let yourself get off that path just because you, know, you, you forgot to drink water that day or you, know, you forgot to get as much sleep as you needed, but just keep those, keep those ideas in mind of what's gonna get you to your, to your end goal. And speaking about goals and success, we're just about to have some with this awesome Tabata that we're gonna do. But first, we're gonna do some mobility. So hopefully you have your water nearby and we're gonna get into it. Let us start with some hip circles. So I'm going knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Knee to elbow, out to side, up and back and down. So go ahead, give me five big hip circles in this direction, keeping that leg at a right angle. Four, five. Then let's switch directions. So then I'm gonna go up and back, out to side, to my elbow and down. We're gonna go five times this way. Whoo! Yeah, feeling, feeling that for sure. All right, guys, now we're gonna do our hydrants. Go ahead, give me five hydrants on this leg. Really feel that glute engage and give me a nice little pause at the top. Four and five. Now we're gonna do hip circles on the other side. Three, 
four, five. All right, taking it back the other way. Two, three, four, five. All right, now let's do some hydrants. Two, give me a pause. Three, ha ha, four, wow. I'm feeling this today, guys. Josh and I sprinted yesterday for the first time since this has all happened and who I'm feeling that in my legs. So guys, now we're gonna go into our frog stretch. So I'm going to very gently and carefully widen out my, my knees and then I'm gonna come down to my forearms. My feet are directly off from my knees and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze the earth together with my knees and we're gonna hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Now I like to rock forward just to give myself a little bit of a break. All right, I'm gonna widen out my knees just a little bit more, get a little bit deeper, pushing my butt back into it. All right, and holding as I squeeze the earth together for five, four, three, two, one. Again, release it forward. All right, maybe get a little deeper if you can. Just be really, really gentle with your groin, guys. All right, push back in and squeeze the earth with those knees for five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Walk it gently back up. Guys, we're gonna do some shoulder glides. So we're gonna go first in a vertical, in a vertical direction. So I'm gonna bring my shoulders, my scapula down, and then I'm gonna reach up out of it. So I'm going up and down as I'm getting my shoulder blades, my shoulders, to warm up. So we're just going vertical with this, up and down. Really try hard to stretch as much as you possibly can with this. All right, we're gonna do 10 of these. Seven, eight, nine, 10. All right guys, now I'm gonna go forward and back. So I'm gonna bring my shoulder blades down to my hips, and then I'm gonna bring them up to my ears. All right, so now we're going in this horizontal plane. Uh, give me 10 of those. You should really feel those lats turn on when you bring your shoulder blades down to your hips. Ah, yeah, all right. Hey, so while we're here, let's go ahead and just do some shoulder circles. All right, so bringing them forward. Getting that full range of motion. Let's just go five forward. Four, five, and then we'll go five back. Two, three, four, and five. All right. We're gonna go into our deep squats. Our deep squats, guys. So I'm gonna come down to the ground. I'm gonna have my elbows to my knees. And what I wanna do is rotate out. I'm gonna rotate out. I'm gonna grab my toes, straighten those legs. All right, feel this in those hamstrings. Come back down. Try to get as deep in that squat as you possibly can. All right, rotate, rotate, and lengthen those legs. Feel it in those hammies. Come back down. We're rotating. We're rotating. Hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah. Give me one more. Ah. And up. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is my walk around. So I'm gonna come into this deep lunge. I'm gonna come into my plank, my high plank. I'm gonna come back in and then I'm gonna rotate in. Walk it out, walk it back in, in that semicircle 
type situation and rotate. Haha. -ha. Really feeling those shoulders and those this upper body warming up now. Coming back out. Let's do one more. Ha. Nice job, guys. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through each one of the exercises in the full circuit of all the Tabatas so that we get used to them. And so we use this as, a, as part of our warm up. All right. So for the first, uh, for the first exercise that we're going to do, we're going to do chair dips. So if you have a stool, a chair, a coffee table, a couch, something in which to elevate yourself from, fantastic. We're going to get our butt close to the edge of whatever the surface is that we're using. We're going to dip down and up. So if you want to make this easier, you're going to have your legs bent in like this. All right, getting this nice stretch in the shoulders at the top. If you want to make it harder, you're going to extend your legs out. So whichever version you're doing, go ahead and give me 10 for the warm up. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And now we have our squats. So if you want to make this harder, that's not a problem. You can go ahead and grab your dumbbells. Otherwise, maybe just for the warm up, we just do body weight squats. All right, coming down, really squeezing those glutes at the top. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Making sure to get that hip in line with that knee or lower, all right? We don't want to cheat ourselves on the depth. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo. Next, we're gonna go into our split squats. So for my split squat, I always wanna make sure that I'm up on that toe in the back, all right? That back heel does not come down the entire time I'm in this position. Okay, so then I'm gonna come down, get that knee about an inch off the ground and up. So again, guys, when we're in the circuit itself, if you wanna have your dumbbells in either hand, that's fine. If you have a kettlebell, you can hold the kettlebell. If you have a medicine ball, you can do that. So go ahead, give me 10 on this side and then switch it out. Give me 10 on the other side. Eight nine and ten awesome switching it out all right face this way coming down and up really really squeeze guys squeeze those legs at the top i want you to lock out those knees i always feel the most alive when i'm doing split squats or Bulgarian split squats, just feel every cell in my legs activate. Boom. Yeah. Eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Now guys, we have our pullover. So if you haven't grabbed your dumbbells yet or your kettlebell or your medicine ball, go ahead and grab that. So for my pullover, I'm gonna grab one of my weights and I'm gonna come down on the ground. I want my legs into a right angle and I wanna keep my lower back flat on the ground. I'm gonna extend my arms over my head straight. I'm gonna come up. I'm just gonna come directly over my chest and back down. Really try hard guys to push that lower back into the ground as you're doing this. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Your lower back is gonna to wanna to pitch up. It's gonna to wanna to arch off the ground. Just really, really keep pushing that into the ground, guys. Seven, eight, 
nine and ten. Awesome. All right. Next, we have our T-spine push-up. So if you need to do this from an elevated surface, not a problem. Or if you're going to do it from the ground, also not a problem. I'll demo it both ways. Going into my push-up position, make sure that butt is slightly raised. Don't lose your abs, guys. Don't lose your glutes. Coming down to the ground, coming up. I'm going to have to widen out my feet for stability. All right, and twist. Coming down and twist. All right, it's my T-spine push-up. If you're doing it from the ground, same thing. You want to make sure your feet are wide. Still going to bring that chest down to the ground and then rotate. Chest down to the ground and rotate. So go ahead and give me 10 push-ups. Ha-ha. <sighs> All right. Next, guys, we have our kneeling upright row. So if you need to, you can also maybe double up your mat or grab a pillow or a cushion. And then for my kneeling upright row, I'm going to push those feet into the ground. All right, my shoelaces into the ground. I'm going to have my dumbbells or whatever my weight is in front of me lead with my elbows and back down. So guys, this, the really cool thing about the kneeling exercises is that really, really makes you concentrate on squeezing those glutes. Sometimes when we're standing, we forget to turn our abs on to squeeze our glutes, but you really, really got to do this in this kneeling position. Yeah. And again, guys, with this Tabata, I don't want you to go fast. I want you to go slow and controlled. All right. Full range of motion. My arms are straight at the bottom. My elbows lead. I come up and down. All right. Give me 10 of those. Nine and 10. Nice job. Great job. All right. Next, we have our flutter kicks. So take my mat out. So for this, I'm going to put my hands underneath my butt. And I can either make a fist if I want to get my legs up a little bit higher off the ground, or I can just have my hands flat. And what I'm going to do is just come up on my shoulder blades. I'm going to do these kicks, all right? Just up and down, up and down, keeping the upper abs really, really engaged with this. Go ahead and give me 10 on each side. Keep those legs straight. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Woo! All right. And then we have our Cossack lunge. So for my Cossack lunge, I'm going to start in this wide stance. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lunge out. Then I'm going to come up on this heel with that straight leg. All right. I'm going to come back up. I'm going to switch it out. All right. So what I don't want to do with this is I don't want to lose this squat. I want to keep, I want to keep my legs engaged with it. All right. I'm pulling that butt to that back wall, but just as long is I don't come and lose the tension in my legs. All right, go ahead and give me 10 on each side. So I'm also, with this, I'm not bending completely over with it, all right? I wanna keep my chest either at like a 45 degree angle. It's gonna change with everybody's physiology. All right, getting those hips, those legs to really get nice and warm. All right, I think I'm getting close to 10 on each side. Sometimes guys, when I'm coaching and I'm working out with you, I'm just kind of making up 
what these numbers are. <laughs> it's easy to lose track. <laughs> All right, I'll do one more on each side. And then we're gonna do something a little new that we haven't done here before. And that's a crunch kick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you two different versions of the crunch kick. So the one version, which is the easier version, is gonna to be to be on your forearms, all right? Your legs are gonna be out straight. Then you're gonna bring your, your knees into your chest and out. Knees into your chest and out, all right? So that's one version. The other version, or the harder version, is going to be to come up and down. Come up and down. So I'm bringing my upper body up to meet my legs as opposed to just bringing my legs to my chest. All right? So these are called crunch kicks. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Really feeling this in my lower abs. Seven, eight, wah, nine, and 10. Ah, nice job, woo! Then we're gonna go into our dumbbell overhead press. I'm gonna stand in a more narrow stance with my feet about as wide as my hips. I'm gonna have my palms facing you, coming up and down. So elbows in at the bottom, guys. So not here, not halfway down. I want that full range of motion. Press overhead, squeeze those glutes. Like I always say, squeeze the crap out of them. Ha ha, all right, going up and down. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Yeah, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome job. That is all the exercises in our Tabatas for today. All right, so I'm gonna have you grab some water and then we're gonna go into our first round of Tabata. So a Tabata is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest for four minutes. We're only doing two exercises at a time, switching on and off with those exercises, okay? So for our first one, we're gonna be doing our chair dips. We're gonna be doing our squats for four minutes. All right, so let's grab our water, getting ready to go, getting on your elevated surface, your chair, your coffee table, whatever you got. And we're starting in three, two, one. Hit it. Again, guys, you can have your legs either at a right angle, but I want you to make sure you're getting your butt and your back close to that surface. And I want you to feel this in your triceps, all right? Or if you wanna make it harder, bring those legs out straight. And we're switching it out. Going into our squats. All right, three, two, one. Here we go. Really squeeze those glutes at the top. It's really funny in my mind, I'm always counting. Even though we're just doing this for 20 seconds, it doesn't matter how many you're doing. Just getting that work in for 20 seconds. Now we're gonna transition back into our chair dips. Two, one, go. All right, being gentle with those shoulders. All right, guys, try not to get extreme with it. Also, if you have wrist issues, what you can do is you can come down to your forearms, all right? Put that weight on the forearms instead. Going into our squats again and hitting it. All right. Feeling everything. Warming up. Okay, guys, going back into our chair dips. Now, as I always say with these Tabatas, if you're getting super gassed, you're not able to catch your breath, go ahead and skip around. That's okay, all right? But what I want, above all, 
is really, really great form. Don't let your form suffer because you're tired, all right? So maybe one round, you're only able to get three chair dips. That's okay. Maybe another round, you're able to get five. Fantastic. All right, coming back into my squats. Woo, two, one, here we go. Ha ha, really squeeze those glutes, helps you reset for the next time you're coming down. Get that depth, depth before dishonor guys. All right, this is our last set of each, last set, best set. You got it. Working those triceps. All right, got about seven seconds left. Whew. Uh, feeling it this round. Switching it out. All right. Two, one. Get after it. Make these the most beautiful, most perfect squats. That's what we always want to do as far as our last set, best set is concerned. Make it perfect. Want that to imprint on your mind. Making it awesome. Great. So that was our first round of Tabatas. Now we're going to rest for about 90 seconds or so. I'm going to have you grab some water and then I'll demo what the next two exercises are. Okay. So our next two exercises are going to be our split squats and our pullovers. So again, guys, we're not going fast with this. We're going slow and controlled. So if you have weights, fantastic. If you have two dumbbells, awesome. If you don't, you have just maybe one medicine ball or one kettlebell, you can hold it like this. Otherwise, you can hold it here. Just make sure you're up on that toe in the back, coming all the way down and up. So trying to get that knee to be about an inch off the ground when you lower your body, all right? So with this, I don't want a super long stride with it. I want a shorter stride. I want this to be more about power than about mobility, okay? So when we're doing the one round, you'll do like your right leg, and then the next time we hit it, you'll do your other leg, okay? So just try to remember, keep track which leg is out front for any of these uh, rounds. And then we're gonna go into our pullovers. So my pullover, my legs are at a right angle. My arm is out straight. I'm really pushing, pushing that lower back into the ground. Coming straight up over head and down. Coming straight up over my chest and down. All right. So those are those two exercises. Got about 10 more seconds of rest. Then we're gonna go into it. All right. So, next round. Thank you, Dr. Tabata. And we're starting in three, two, one. Hit it with those split squats. Feel alive. Feel everything in those legs turn on, guys. Maybe find a spot on the wall in front of you to look at so you don't fall over. It's easy to do. Lock out those knees. All right, transitioning to the ground. Going into my pullover. And hitting it. Push that lower back into the ground. Keeping those arms as straight as you can. This is really good for that thoracic spine. Helping us all with our tech necks as we're at our computers all day. Coming back up into my split squat. Remember which leg you had out forward first, switch it out, right? Working both those legs. Ah, yeah, feeling it. Really think about the tripod of that foot 
that's out front, getting that big toe, pinky toe, and heel pushed into the ground. That'll help you with your stability. Push that lower back into the ground. I have to keep reminding myself each time. Great job, guys. Awesome. All right, switching it out. She could be going back to the first leg that we started with out front. All right. Squeezy squeezies. Guys, also, turn on those lats while you're doing this. Really get those lats engaged. Maybe if you're getting tired, you can just slow down a little bit. That's all right, too. Going back into my pull over. Lower back. It's pushing into the ground. Legs at a right angle. Just going directly over head. Ah. 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 All right. Switching it out again. Down and up. This is my last set. Thank you, Coach Josh. All right. Feeling those legs, guys. Hopefully, you're feeling the fire. All right, and this is my last set of pullovers. You got this, you got this. Oh. Lower back, stay down, stay down. Trying to get those arms straight. Whew. Ha. All right, we are resting. We are drinking water. And then I'm gonna go into the next, the next set of Tabatas. So for this one, we're gonna be doing our T-spine push-ups and our kneeling upright rows. So I'm gonna get my mat situated to protect my knees. All right, and since we're doing a bunch of these push-ups, these T-spine, push-ups. I'm probably just going to go ahead and do it from an elevated surface. But again, if you want to do it from the ground and you're able to do a strict push-up, that's fantastic. Just remember with these push-ups, you want to keep those legs out wide, coming down and rotating. And guys, keep those elbows in or at a 45. Don't let those elbows come up as you're doing your push-ups, right? If you want to keep those lats engaged, you want to be kind to your shoulders. All right. So yeah, my legs are out wide, coming all the way down. I'm rotating, coming down and rotating. Fantastic. Then I'm gonna grab my weights for my kneeling upright row, squeezing those glutes, coming up, leading with those elbows and down. Full extension on those arms, guys, at the bottom. Don't stop here, stop with those Arms extended, yeah? Awesome. So trip over my mat. All right, I'm gonna grab water and then we're getting into it. All right. Here we go, starting in three, two, one. Yeah, there it is. Coming down, rotate. Don't lose those abs, guys. Keep that butt slightly elevated. Ah, turning, this feels really good. My upper torso. Coming back down. Grabbing my weights and we're going for it. Just always make sure 
you're leading with those elbows. All right, so say for instance you have a kettlebell, just a kettlebell, or your dumbbell is really heavy. Go ahead and just grab one then, that's fine. All right, going back into my T-spine push-up. All right, hitting it. Again, guys, if you're feeling gassed, go ahead and skip around. No big deal. Like I always say, gotta get that form right. Don't let the form suffer because you're tired. And we're coming back into our kneeling upright rows. All right, so I want you to squeeze those glutes, guys. Don't let that, that lower back relax. Keep those glutes on, coming up and down. You can push those shoelaces into the ground as you're doing this, bringing that pelvis forward. It's gonna help you turn on those glutes. All right. Going back into my push-up with rotation. Here we go. Ha-ha. Take your time. Make it perfect. Ugh. Ha. Feel like the rotation. It's a nice little break. Let me do one more because I feel like I keep ending <laughs> on that on that one side. The same side over and over again. All right. Here we go. Getting into it. Leading with those elbows. You got this. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those glutes. Ha ha. All right. This is going to be our last set of each. Last set. Here we go. Ah. Opening it up to each side as we rotate. Whoo, two, one. All right, going back into my last set of upright rows. Whoo, you got this. Guys, we're on the path to success. We're working out. It's Saturday. Got my Saturday crew, Sarah and Chris, represent. Team Biodome, Team Blast from the Past. All right. Guys, let's get a little bit of rest. Getting that water. This is counting towards getting those two liters in a day. Trying real, real hard to work on that this month, guys. That's a goal. Not just this month, but always. <laughs> All right. So now we have our flutter kicks. All right. So for my flutter kicks, again, I can either have my hands flat or I can, or I can make fists. I'm going to put my hands underneath my butt. I'm going to elevate my my upper torso just a little bit off the ground. Shoulder blades are still touching. Then going to kick up and down, all right, with straight legs. Those are my flutter kicks. And then I have my Cossack lunge with this one. So that's my pairing of this Tabata. So starting out in this wide stance to get into that deep lunge, making sure to come up onto that heel as we switch it out to each side, all right? So those are our two exercises for this round. All right, got about 10 more seconds of rest, and then we're gonna go back into it. Guys, I tell you, I was feeling really sore when we started this morning, especially after doing sprints for the first time in over a month. God, I'm feeling so much better right now, just moving. It's so important when you're feeling like poo, just get up and move, right? 
All right. We're going to get into it. We're going to start with our flutter kicks. Okay, so I'm gonna, we're going to start in three, two, one, and we're going. All right, hands under butt. Head is slightly raised up on those shoulder blades, keeping those legs strong, engaged as we're kicking up and down. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna go into our Cossack lunge. Get those legs out wide, coming into it. Don't lose it, don't get too deep into it, guys, all right? I want you to maintain that tension in that leg, in those legs, plural. Ha 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 ha, yeah. Here we go, going back into my flutter kicks. All right, hands are underneath my butt, getting a little bit more height for those legs. Coming all the way up, down, kicking it, kicking it. Ah. You got this, woo, ha ha. <laughs> really feeling those flutter kicks, guys. Guess we gotta do those more often. Oh my goodness. All right, Cossack lunge. You got this. All right, going back into my flutter kicks. Ha. Huh. Oh guys, I can't wait to get you all back in this dojo. I miss you all so much. Kicking it. Uh, uh, yeah, abs on fire. Woo, ha. Ah. Going back into my Cossack. Lunge, here we go. How's it feeling this morning? Check in with your body. See where you're feeling stuff. Squeeze those glutes at the top, guys. Bring that pelvis forward as you come up. So guys, this is our last set of each. Last set. All right, and we're going. He got this. Woo! Get those legs straight. Ha! Breathe, guys. Don't forget to breathe. Three, two, one. Ha! All right. Oh, give myself a little bit of love. Bringing my legs in. And. Cossack stretch. Ha, 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 ha. You got this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Squeezy, squeezies. I should really feel those legs. All right, guys, we got one more in our Tabata. Get water, get rest. All right. We've got our crunch kicks, and we have our dumbbell overhead press. So, for my crunch kicks, those two versions again, where either you're on your you're on your forearms, and you're just going to bring your knees into your chest. All right. So, coming up and out kicking in and out, or I'm gonna come up and down at the same time with my upper body and my lower body, all right? Yeah. Okay, 
bent. I got my dumbbell overhead press. All right. So elbows in, my hands face you. My feet are narrow. Pressing up to the ceiling and back down. Again, guys, if you only have one weight, that is not a big deal. Coming up and down, up and down. Probably just gonna find your arms a little bit more narrow with that. All right, going into my crunch kicks. Knees to chest. And we're starting in three, two, one, hit it. So here, coming up and down, up and down. Ha, yeah. I'm really just using my arms and my hands for stability. It's more than using them to help me push me up. All right, here we go, guys. Home stretch is your last two exercises of this awesome Tabata workout. Full range of motion. Ha ha. Going back into my crunch kicks. All right. And up and down. Up and down. Ah. Whew. Here's another one we should do more of because I'm feeling this, guys. Really feeling this in my lower abs. Two, one. Ha. Transitioning back into my overhead press. All right. Feet are narrow. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Uh. <laughs> Sarah, I'm thinking about what you were saying about how these 10 pound weights are feeling heavy. These 10 pound weights are feeling heavy. <laughs> so true. Oh my. All right. Crunch kicks. We're going for it. Whoo. Okay. Switching back into our overhead press. Here we go. Here we go. This is our last set of each. Last set. Here we go. Coming up and down. Up and down. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We got this. We got this. We got this. All right. Switching it out. Dumbbell overhead press. Ha ha. Hua. Ah. Oh, got this. Really squeeze those glutes, guys. Don't forget. And we're done with that. Now, we do have new homework for May. So, what we're going to do is our first set of our homework is gonna be our Cossack lunge, just like we did in the circuit, all right? We're gonna do 10 on each side, okay? So hopefully you grab some water while I was trying to figure that out. <laughs> all right, 
Now, we're gonna do 10 on each side. All right? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Got a clicky, clicky ankle going on here. <laughs> Eight. Nine. And 10. Yeah, yeah. All right, so our next exercise for our homework is gonna be our four point hip mobility. So for that, I'm gonna be in this quadruped position. I'm gonna have my knees slightly elevated off the ground. I'm gonna swing that knee out as I go and I try to bring that foot forward and I'm gonna to touch it with my hand, all right? So we're gonna do 10 on each side. I'll show you what this looks like from the side because we're trying hard to not get our butt up in the air. We're trying not to push back on those shoulders. We're keeping our, our butt and our knees low to the ground, all right? Swing out that knee, all right? Four, five, guys, these are hard. Take it slow. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo! When Josh mentioned that we were doing the four point hip mobility for the homework, I was like, ugh. And I was like, well, that's why we need to do it, because it's hard. Yeah, taking our medicine. So guys, our last, our last um, exercise for our homework is going to be this archer, but it's gonna be a plank archer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread out my feet for stability, and I'm gonna draw my hand up along my chest. I'm gonna follow my hand with my eyes, and I'm gonna come back down, all right? Doing it on the other side. Taking my time with it. All right, so as I'm doing this, I'm keeping my hips at about shoulder level. Again, I'm not pushing back, keeping those wrists and shoulders aligned. Ah, six. Nine and ten. All right. Great job, warriors. What a way to spend a Saturday. Or maybe even you're doing this workout on Sunday if you're a day behind, and then you can just choose to do it whatever time you want when we have it up on YouTube a little bit later today. So really appreciate you spending this time with me this morning and working on thinking about what our success is going to look like you know no uh, coach josh is going to check in with all the warriors this month and we're going to talk about goals and help you help you get there all right remembering what our goals are maybe we've changed our goals okay but we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within yay Hey Josh, what are the three homework exercises? Oh, the plank archer. Yeah, yeah, yeah.